I was the head coach at Colorado State, and my assistant, Craig Smith, said, Coach, I got a guy that is going to be all league Mountain West. He is going to be a beast. We end up going down to Texas. When I first met Coach Miles, my first impression was energetic and always smiling. I mean, if you look at the guy, you never know, you'll never think he had a bad day in his life. Immediately, Turan is a special player. He's got acceleration, athleticism. He's got a motor that won't quit. Turan was gonna take one visit before us, and it was Texas Tech and Pat Knight. And right before his visit up to us, he commits to Texas Tech. I decided to go there because there was a couple of guys that was coming out of my class in the state of Texas, like four or five guys, and we all committed at the same time. Unfortunately, Pat Knight got fired at Texas Tech and Billy Gillespie came in. So as we're making the move from Colorado State to Nebraska, Turan got his release. And Turan is sitting at our conference table and he's got a pen in his left hand and he goes, Coach, there's no thinking about it. Let's get this done. Let's go team. All the way up, all the way up, all the way up. Let's go team. I don't know that I've ever coached a harder worker than Terran Pettaway. He has spent countless hours in the weight room, in the gym. My red shirt, yeah. I would go in there and I would just work out so hard, constantly, constantly, and I wasn't making any improvements. And I was asking Coach Wild when I'm doing all this work, and he was like, because I'm not giving my body time to recover. I said, Terran, you're out of the gym for three days. After the second day, I look at him and he's, he just looks terrible, you know? And I'm like, what's going on? And we find out he's been going over to the rec center and playing for three hours a night at the rec center. And he went to a church and played in a church league for an hour and a half. And I'm like, stop it. I really had to cut back. After that, I took pride in working out with Coach Johnson, who's now at Minnesota. He really helped me out a lot, man. I mean, he took my game to another level. One thing we just tried to work on was just being consistent with his game. Pay attention to detail and do the little things and do them repeatedly and do them every day and make it a habit. First thing I noticed from day one was just his drive to be the best. He wasn't going to be denied the opportunity to be great. All right, let's go, T. Push him up all the way up, good. Put them together. That's it. Turan, two, good. One more. He's a machine. He doesn't need Gatorade. He needs oil. Get that knee down as far as you can. Good. That's it. When I first got here, I was 185, skinny. <laughs> and once I met Coach Wilson, it, it took off from there. He put 20 pounds on me. Push up, good. Everything went up. That's it. His bench press went up 70 pounds. His vertical jump has gone up three and a half inches. Percent body fat has gone down. <sighs> Being stronger, it just gives you that confidence knowing that you can get to the rim and you can finish with anybody in conference. I didn't put an expectation out there on him of where he'd be in the Big Ten Conference. I just, I remember saying to one of my assistants, like, he's got to get us 14 or 15 a night, doesn't he? To see him go out and get 35 and go out and get over 20 how many times and do it in a way where teams are targeting him, he's a smarter player than I think I realized. The best part about it from the outside looking in now is I know there's not a selfish bone in his body and that he's doing it because he wants to help that team and help that program win. He's a guy that just works hard all the time. Him being a captain just really wants to get the best out of uh, all his teammates as well. I want to be one of the people that say that guy helped change Nebraska basketball. We're in the middle of the pack of the Big Ten. You know, nobody expected us to win more than four games this year. I mean, that's all fine and dandy, but we got bigger expectations for ourselves. <laughs> I don't think there's any greater accomplishment for a coach than to exceed expectations. That's a tough team now, that's a tough team. You're winning games nobody expected you to win, and now that's exhilarating, and that's exciting, and that's almost like a drug. You know, that's an addicting thing. That's why you guys don't get out of coaching. That's why players always want to play. Congratulations to Nebraska, a huge win. Maybe their biggest win since joining the Big Ten. That sense of purpose becomes greater than yourself. We can keep showing progression and keep going. Who knows where we might end up? Yeah!